Hello everyone! We're on your screen to celebrate because it is June, meaning it is Pride Month. Pride Month is a time to celebrate our LGBTQ community and so in honor of that I am here to share some picture books that I found over this past year. I hope you find a new book that you enjoy through this video um, or perhaps spot one of your favorites here as well. So I did a very similar video last year where I talked about LGBTQ themed books and I mentioned how much I love fairy tales and happy endings. I had shared um, Princess and Maiden for that reason and so I was very excited when I found this year. Prince and Knight, which is also a fairy tale style book, starts with Once Upon a Time and has great representation and it is a very lovely story. The next book I have is Stella Brings the Family. So Stella's class is having a Mother's Day celebration and Stella is a little concerned because uh, she has two dads, and and so she's worried about how it, it's going how it's going to work out. Well, we learn through the story uh, more about Stella and her family, and we also learn about her classmates and her classmates' families. And so through that, we can see how there's all different kinds of families. I really love this book here, called When Aiden Became a Brother. Aiden is a transgender child. When he was born, his family thought he was a girl, but he let them know, no, I'm a boy. And his family loves and accepts him. And um, as you can probably tell from the title, Aiden becomes a big brother. And so Aiden wants to make sure his little sibling uh, feels like they can be themselves. And he works very hard to do that. Uh, one thing I really love about this book is that Aiden uses his own experiences to be kind to others. And maybe that's something that you can relate to as well. Uh, maybe you've had a hard experience and then you use that. Know, knowing that you've gone through that, you keep that in mind and you help and support others and that makes the world a better place. Okay, the next book I have is called 47,000 Beats, and uh, it introduces someone who is two-spirit. In a lot of indigenous cultures here in North America, uh, there, some people are recognized as not being boys or girls, but as being two-spirit. Um, it's really neat that gender isn't always set in stone, and it kind of teaches us that there can be differences across different cultures. This book is called They Call Me Mix, and this book introduces a non-binary kid. As we now know, uh, some people don't identify as boys or girls, and the thing I love about this book is that it talks about being yourself, um, no matter how others view you. And it also talks about finding community. And community can be people who are like you, that accept you and support you, and that you can support them as well. Uh, another reason why I really love this book is that it is bilingual. Uh, it is in English and in Spanish, so you can read it in both languages. Okay, finally I have Julian is a Mermaid. So in this book, Julian sees others dressed up for the mermaid parade, and he wants to be a mermaid too. Um, so I really love this book because you can see how um, bright and wonderful Julian is and how great it is that he can be himself. Um, I also learned that there is an actual mermaid parade in New York and the author was inspired by LGBTQ identified people in her own life and that's a big reason on why this book exists. 
so these are my picks. I hope you enjoyed them. Uh, there are many more at the library. Uh, feel free to request them for you and your family. I hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope we can see you all very soon. Bye for now. Have a great summer.